How's it going, everyone? My name is Cornship, and welcome back to The Last Promise. We're on Chapter 5. There's a lot of magic users now, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Here's the boss. I don't know if I showed him off, and I don't know how to say his name. I'm not even going to attempt it. I think I attempted last time. And he is a skilled Taos nomad, harsh and relentless. And then on the other hand, we got a new unit, Arthur who, character design-wise, looks like he would be a dark mage, because purple is usually dark magey. And he is a monk from Kashaya, known to get excited very easily, but say little otherwise. So, yay. And then I, uh, I was... I was good for once, and I turned on his animations, so we won't have that happening. And then Siegfried doesn't have his stuff. Kevin has it. <laughs> and, uh, so that's kind of a problem for me that I'm gonna have to figure out here. And um, also with these four units at us at the very beginning, I don't think I can kill all four of them unless I like manage to get lucky or something. So that kind of sucks too. Originally I was gonna send Kevin over here, but I think I want Kevin to attack one of these guys. Well, I don't know, cause this guy has a freaking uh, short bow which can counterattack, so I'd rather do this. And then I guess Siegfried's just going to be out of luck, unless I send Siegfried over there. I don't think the Javelin will kill, though. I'll probably send Shuda over there, because I don't even know if anyone else... I guess Corbin could reach. But can you kill? If you don't miss. You know what? Sure, why not? Oh wait, but I just didn't do the whole Siegfried thing I was talking about. Oh well. We'll figure it out. Okay, that's decent. Defense is nice. Uh, let's see here. You might be more useful on a freaking shortbow guy. Oh, but now Shuda can't do anything, so once again, I'm just whiffing and fumbling my way all over the place, and have not done a good job here. There's gonna be, like, more than one of these guys still alive at the end of this. I'm an idiot. And plus, she'll be in trouble. Someone was telling me the effective damage on this is like a times two instead of a times three, but, I mean, if more than one of them's attacking her, like... What do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> okay, well, let's kill one I actually attacked. Please don't miss. It's kind of funny, because if you ask me, like, what my favorite type of unit was to have on a team, at least in the Game Boy ones, I probably would have said... Well, I would have said multiple. I really like, you know, Anima Mages and Light Mages. Uh, and then as far as, like, melee goes, I really like Myrmidons. But as far as, like, my YouTube channel, <laughs> it seems like armored units have been my favorite. Because we got, like, Condor in Sun God's Wrath, and then we got, um, Larissa in Vision Quest, like, ended up being my favorites. Well, I don't know what to do here, man. I can't really block anyone in. I guess you grab the stuff from Kevin? And then, uh... I don't want Anana to die. I don't want Tamiko to die either. This guy way over here. So Tamiko can go here. And not be attacked. Uh, I think I'm screwed. I think someone's gonna die. Good job, me. Hey, he hit a 66. Kinda shocked, actually. I don't think there's anywhere she can go where she's safe from archer attacks. 
So, that's not good. I guess I'll put you in this forest and hope you don't die. Let's put the Slim Lance on so you don't get doubled or something. Uh, I don't know where he's going. Fifteen damage. Yeah, see, she's fine. <laughs> oh, he has a longbow. Ow. Hey, can we start dodging stuff, guys? I think that'd be a good idea if we dodged things. I'm no expert here, but I think we should dodge. So this guy has an iron bow. Well... I want to start, you know, advancing, so Arthur can go here and have a little mage fight, and we'll see how that goes. Shuda can come over here and fight this guy. And that way Siegfried can... Well, I was going to say Siegfried can get some items, but I take that back. I don't know if that's what I want to do. She might actually be dead. <laughs> Still. I don't think she can hit hard enough to kill. And also, 46% chance. Not helpful. Yep. Is Inanna dead? Probably. And I don't have any healing on her because I sold it all. Alright, she's safe. Wow. Am I a good Fire Emblem player or what? <laughs> Probably shouldn't risk a 79, but I did and it worked anyway. Someone was saying he can't even use javelins, which isn't true. Because it's, it's an E rank, so I don't know... Unless you somehow start with a proficiency lower than E, but I don't think you do. So whoever said that, either I'm not understanding something or you're dead wrong. It's very possible I'm just not understanding something. Alright, Kevin level. Let's go, Kevin. <laughs> Alright, very weird for an armored boy, but hey. I love my speed. I think I might have screwed Tamiko over. I can't double him. Whoops. Yeah, Tamiko's dead, huh? Oops. Put her in a forest and hope she dodges. Alright, she dodged. Oh! Ha, you can't even hurt Arthur, you loser. Going after Sean. Oh, you do a decent amount of damage to him. That's not very cool of you. Okay, well, lots of misplays at the beginning here, but hopefully I can recover. <laughs> no one died, so I have that going for me. And I'm leveling up, so that's good too. Alright, I like to see that. That's a good level too. Please give me my stuff so I can actually contribute. Because I really need to contribute. <laughs> so there's nothing for me over here unless they open these doors up. And then also, like... Okay, you do have door keys. So yeah, I just missed some of them having... Or at least this one, having door keys. But I don't think anyone has any chest keys. Yet. And like, yeah, I want to check the reinforcement. Because like, what if they do? But they don't. So, and then I don't think you have any... Oh, alright. I missed him. Okay, well there's my answer. So who do you need to heal? Probably Sean. I wish you could heal yourself, but yeah, I don't have any really 
I don't have any healing items, do I? No, I think Arthur came with... Vulneraries. Okay, whatever. Oh? Okay, that's good. Alright, Kevin. Hit this guy. Oh. Do I want you to kill? Compared to Corbin? Yes. Go for it. Can Sean reach? No. I mean, with the javelin, yes, but... I'm just gonna say no. I could slap Arthur, like, here... But I don't know if that would be in range. It doesn't look like it, and I want to bait this guy to attacking me, so... Because he's at advantage, he shouldn't take any damage. Your light is not strong enough, you... Silly Kashayan. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Well, if I don't miss 76, but I'm not taking any damage. These guys are kind of weak. Or Sean just has a good resistance, and I haven't really thought about it. That's also very possible. Sean, what is your resistance? Six? I wouldn't think that's anything amazing. Let's go, Arthur. Join my club. Do it. Dang it. Also, like, design-wise, I think monks are kind of the coolest. Like, I almost don't even like promoting them. Because, you know, I think using the magic with your hands... Casting the magic with your hands is super cool, and then when they promote, they get a staff, and then it's kind of lame. Reject staff. Cast magic with hand only. Okay, well, Tamiko will be fine as long as I don't put her in range of anyone ever again on this level. And now I'm gonna have to slowly trickle my way inside and risk people getting hit by magic. Also, we just saw Arthur can't kill the guy. Especially when he's getting healed constantly, so... Let's use Arthur to bait two mages. He's gonna be a disadvantage against the anima magic, but I'm gonna... We'll see how it goes. And Kevin's gonna be lagging pretty far behind because he's slower. And then we can actually get my magic killing dude in here, that would be good. And then how does your javelin do? Not too bad, I don't know if I want the 4 damage, but I don't think anyone else can attack you, so this sh should be fine anyway. Alright, he hit. But will you dodge the 4 damage? No. <laughs> I think if he'll kill, though, in the enemy phase, he should level up. Or the mage is gonna run away like a little baby. Okay, still no damage for Arthur. Let's just see if he can actually hit, though. He doesn't double. Bummer. Is that guy gonna open the other door? Is that the whole point of that? He doesn't have any chest keys, so I'm not worried about that. Arthur, join the club. We have, like... Anxiety, that's what we have. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to join? Oh, that's really annoying. I just want to kill the dude. Whoa, hello there? Oi, Sir Siegfried, was it? I've brought some men here to help you in your battle. The Fora shall fend off Taos reinforcements. So you just focus on conquering the fortress. Just hurry up, because we can't hold out forever. I must report back to the chief now. Best of luck. Huh. Are these guys gonna run in for me? I don't know if I want that, to be honest. I mean, maybe, because there's quite a lot of people in here, but... I don't know. Corbin, I don't know what your reinforcements... <laughs> what your resistance is like, rather, but... You can kill this guy, so go for it. Let's check out your preferred weapon and see how it does. It freaking slaps. I still don't know how to say that, but, you know... It works. Alright, Kevin, you've 
almost made it into the fortress. You made it on the steps, at least. <laughs> you don't have a javelin to throw. You also don't have any range. Oh, you will kill this guy if you fight, though, so that's good. Let's just go ahead and do that, then. That will give Arthur the chest keys, which... I don't know if that's really what I want, but I can trade it pretty easily. Yes, magic and speed! Let's go, Arthur. And the chest keys, like I said, that's fine. Will you be able to kill this guy with your piercing sword? Do I even have to use the piercing sword? I might have to. Uh, that would do 18. But what, 79 or 84? Uh, let's try the 79 and hope I don't regret it, but I might regret it. Okay. Aww. Then I don't think anyone else can reach, but... Whoever they attack, I'm not, like, super worried about... No matter what. Let's heal up our boy Shuda. Did I already heal her, Inanna? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, in we go, I think... We're fine no matter what. Okay, he can't reach Arthur, which is great, because I wouldn't want that to happen. I don't really want to put her in the Dark Mage's range, so... She'll just chill. I also don't like using Nothung durability on this guy. Oh, but I got a crit. <laughs> Siegfried doesn't like doing it either, so he only used one. Thanks, Siegfried. Alright, I might take one damage. Ouchie. Is Sean just, like, impervious to fire? What's going on there? Okay, reinforcements come from below, as well as right here. You don't have any keys, though. Okay, so you have... enough space in your inventory to where you could... do all that for me. Oh, but if I give you the chest key, you won't. Shuda does, even though I like using him to fight. And Inanna, what is your resistance, actually? It's the same as your defense, but whatever. These guys are just, yeah, the regular. Okay, whatever. Um, I can use you for another Nothung kill. <laughs> And also, there is a secret. I don't know if I really talked about it, but... There's a secret right here, actually. I think. There's a secret in this room that Siegfried is now in. I'm not entirely sure what tile it is. Oh, well, that, that was it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we got a talisman, which is awesome. And I also blocked the healer, so they can't do anything. Also very awesome. I'm gonna have to just... I guess give it to Shuda, and then Shuda's gonna be out of uh, fighting for probably just the rest of the level in general. Although I also need the chest keys for this, so... Kind of a predicament. As always, we will see what happens. I guess I'll let you just get even more healing experience. And then... Uh, you still don't have any range, so I'd rather not have you try to fight anyone yet. And then Corbin's Emblem Lance did a lot to these guys, didn't it? Yeah, he takes more damage from the fire, though, so... I'm kind of nervous about that, because a lot of them will be able to attack him in the enemy phase. But I think he's tough enough to hold on. There are, like, two people that can hit him, mages, and then this guy, if they don't go after Sean. Please don't miss an 89 or I will cry real tears. Thank you. I will not be crying on video today. Alright. An awesome level. Then he'll resist fire even more. Somehow. Oh, they did choose to go after him. Good thing I switched the lance. I'm just trying to spread out his weapon experience. Yeah, he's going to take quite a lot of damage, but he'll be fine overall. And plus, maybe he'll dodge. He didn't, but he could have.
Yes, green units, dodge like the wind. Wow. They were like, hey, we can't hold out forever. Wow, then this one didn't dodge on a forest. <laughs> yeah, freaking get it, green units. Oh, nope, don't take that damage. That's dumb of you. You gotta dodge. They seem to do fairly, fairly well. If I trade it to her, she'll be able to... Yeah, and Anna, even though you do need experience, I'm gonna leave that stuff to you. Because you're faster. <laughs> Alright, we got some money! Okay. Is your resistance really bad? Oof, well, compared to your defense, absolutely. Uh, I'm just gonna keep slowly bringing people forward. You're gonna get another heal, because why not just get you that sweet, sweet experience? See, another level! She's going so fast. And that was a really good one. When she can finally promote, she's gonna be great. I say that as she's level 5 right now, and the rest could be pretty bad levels. We shall see. Alright, well, I don't want any of these people getting attacked. I mean, except for Kevin, that'd be fine, but... I'm just gonna clear these people out with everybody, including Siegfried, who... Really, all three of these people don't need the experience compared to everybody else on the team, but... It's fine. Let me make sure Corbin can actually get a kill. Uh, let's take the five damage. Not that I want you taking damage, but... Yeah. Oh, he dodged! There we go! I don't know what voice that was. <laughs> Do I even need to use your Nothung? No, I want to check the Iron Sword. You know what? Sure, you can take some damage. A future heal for Tamiko, perhaps. Did that store have lances to buy? Maybe I should have done that. But the guide I'm using, as well as people in the comments, have told me that because this is an FE7 ROM hack, I'm basically in... Lin mode right now, which is like, you know, the long tutorial kind of thing, and like, after chapter 10, I'm gonna lose all my inventory, so that's why I sold the Elysian Whip uh, in the last chapter or whenever it was. My memory's so bad. Should I try to- no, we should let Inanna get this kill, because that should be something she can do, right? <laughs> I hope. And then who all's left? A bunch of mages, and then this guy, and then these two down here that are just doing nothing. So... Yeah, let's try to get Arthur more experience. This is gonna be a big waste of a turn. What else is new with me? But I don't need my three cavalry fighting everything, because they are my highest level, most powerful, yada yada. And yes, I know if I take too long, I'm just gonna keep getting reinforcements. Boo-hoo. Okay, the bosses usually don't move, so he has a range of two, at most. So we're gonna do five damage and take nothing in return, or... Well, there's not really an or. I just wanna... I wanna weaken him if it's possible. But it doesn't seem to be possible. It just seems like I'm gonna... Oh! But that'll leave him at 6 HP. What could Arthur do? 5. Darn it. Sean, what about you? Killing, killing. Leaving him with too much HP. Shuda can't reach. Kevin can't reach. Fine, I'm just gonna throw Arthur here and let him fight all the mages. He doesn't take damage anyway. His robes are fireproof. He is the ultimate specimen. Okay, literally all of them can attack him, which I'm okay with. As odd as that might sound.
I need someone with inventory space again. <laughs> Which might just be Shooter! Here you go! It's to get to the chest way down here, although there are going to be mages to fight on the way. But I want to let Inanna fight that healer, because she needs to fight something. If I'm going to get her ready to fight actual people, because right now she really can't. She sucks. I'm also a little worried I'll break my lightning pretty quick, and then... He just can't fight anymore. Until I somehow get more. Alright, Arthur. Almost a kill right there. You've got this. Look at this magic tank right here. <laughs> Only problem is they also have good resistance, so he's really not doing much damage. Except the Dark Mage, obviously. Oh yeah, I forgot about this thing going on. And green units are not doing as well this time. Or they are not getting as lucky. Oh. One's almost down. Oh, nice crit! All right, Inanna, let's get you some fighting experience. Uh, let's go for the one that could maybe kill. Or was it smarter to try to draw it out with the Slim Lance? I don't actually know. <laughs> God, that sucks. All right, well, I'm cool with Kevin getting experience, assuming he doesn't miss an 85. It'd be great if you didn't. Okay, Arthur's not going to be able to kill any, except for the Dark Mage. I like how I wanted to commit to, like, Arthur getting all this experience, and now I'm immediately like, no, let's just kill. Let's just end it. Well, we're not ending the level, but... Let's end these silly little mages of all kinds. Alright, Corbin or Sean? They're both level 9. Kimiko can get even more experience. And... Eh, let's use Sean. Two chances here. Don't mess it up, and he didn't. Yeah, only eight experience for a kill. I really, like, should not use my cavalry as much anymore. But they're just so useful. Oh, they have healing items. Cool. Yeah, they'll be fine. Okay, so Arthur's gonna come here and, uh... How much? 18 left? I mean, that's a decent amount still, but... Alright, now I want Shuda down there to get the chests, but... Hold on. Okay, yeah, I have to put him here, and he's gonna get attacked by one of the mages, and that kind of sucks without the counter-attacking, but whatever. And Kevin can start fighting this guy. Because I don't think he'll take any damage. We'll see. Come here, you fools, to die. And he actually hit a 57. I'm actually kind of surprised. He might just heal it all up anyway. I'm not gonna have the others attack him yet. Because, you know, I want to actually get all the chests and whatnot. Okay, cool. I'm glad he doesn't heal it all up. Arthur, can you double this fool? Also, can you join the club? He did neither. And also just missed. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
A 2% crit could have been bad. Ouch. Kevin takes an 8% crit for, like, two extra damage. Okay, I don't need you, like, actually running in here more. Especially because you're not there to help your friends now, you fool. You selfish moron. What do you think you're doing? Can anyone attack... I don't know where I was going to go with that. <laughs> I just said I don't need to use the cavalry anymore, but I want Shuda to get to the chest. And this guy is in the way of that. So... Gotta die. Alright, increased our lance proficiency. Shuda can come and open this chest. A dragon shield, alright. And then uh, you just keep fighting this mage. Maybe actually hit him this time. Thank you. And if I can, I'd like to get this kill for Inanna. Oh, we got an Arthur level. Alright, good enough, sure. You got magic at least. That's all I can ask for. That's not true, I could ask for more, but I didn't. Tamiko can be ready to heal people. I guess she could have gone... well, no. Like, can you do any damage to the boss, reliably? The answer is... a no. I'm not gonna risk a 58. <laughs> so she just needs to be ready to fight this mage, because, yeah, I want her to maybe get some more experience. That would be great. I don't know if I should have Kevin attack. Yeah, why not? 57's not a good chance. And he's doing it. Kevin's a legend. And that's all I'm doing. Mage is going to attack either Shuda or Corbin. Oh yeah, Corbin takes way more damage. And he dodged! Olay! Oh my god, he's not ever missing these 57s. Oh, I wish I could skip these. I don't really care. One of your buddies abandoned you. To go heal, like a selfish... Punk. This is another round where they... Have handled themselves pretty well, though. Well, that one's getting close to death now. Oh, so the other one, yeah, now that he's out of range, he's literally just stuck here, because the AI is really dumb. Alright, Inanna, can you do it? Uh, let's go for the slim. Less chance of you missing, the better. Oh, this is so painful. Have you leveled up once? Oh, we get the fire? Good thing I have nobody that can use that. She's a little up maybe twice if I got her at level 1. I don't actually remember what level she joined. And then, uh, I guess I'll try to get Kevin to kill because... I mean, what else do I do? I don't really need to give it to any of my cavaliers. Arthur can't get up there at this moment. So, hey, if you can hit the 50, whatever it is, congrats. He might still level up off of this, though. Which also works for me. And he got skill, so he'll have a better chance than 57 now. Wasting another turn. Now Kevin cannot kill. Alright, so we got a 59% chance instead of a 57, and it worked out. Maybe Arthur can get the kill now, though? I'd be cool with that. Oh, please don't go too far away, my dude. It's gonna be a problem. Alright, Arthur, can you do it? Uh, 
If you miss, I risk a 9% chance of death. Does he have the... Yeah, he has the short bow out. Well, dang. Shuda, what a Shuda can't reach. And I already tried you, and you can't reach. Alright, Kevin. I'll move you over here. <laughs> and try the 59. Alright, he did it. Good job, Kevin. Ha ha, ugh. That's some tasty experience right there. Speaking of experience, let's get Tamiko a little bit more. Another level. And I appreciate that one, that was a good level. And now I have to seize the throne. I'm wondering if I should do any sort of inventory management before I go, because I don't know if or when I'll get a prep screen. So the fire is just kind of useless right now. The Lance Reaver is a sword that I should probably give to Shuda because Shuda can only use swords. And then I think I just talked about how I'm going to lose my inventory. So any stat boosters I have, like the Talisman and the Dragon Shield, I need to give to people. So obviously you don't need a Dragon Shield. And the Talisman, like maybe, but eh. I could give Corbin the Talisman. I could give Inanna both in hopes of her being not a big old dookie piece of poop. I don't know, man. I'm bad at these decisions. Uh, let's see. Okay, well either way, I want to commit giving Shuda the Lance Reaver. And then... Who do I give the Dragon Shield to? All my Cavaliers have seven. Maybe Inanna? Although I literally just kind of messed that one up. Because she was already trading. You know what? Yeah, I'll give it to Inanna. If that's dumb, uh, so be it. And then you have the Talisman. I don't know why I'm doing this, because I can't trade twice, like in a lot of other games. Okay, I'm sorry. I will end this next turn. I know this was a big waste. The AI is still being dumb. More reinforcements, but I don't care. Okay, so we're giving the Talisman to Shuda, I think is what I wanted. And if that's dumb, fight me. If this is dumb, also fight me. No, 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 not trade. Use, please. Okay. Let's just get out of here, please. Alright, now they're eliminated. Chief Haas, you can rest at ease. It's actually Haas. Oh, he said, like, Haas. I thought it was just a typo. But regardless, that was well done. I'll be directing our foreign forces north and engage the Magnians there. It may take a while, though. Most of my men aren't used to charging into bases. They shout at Magnians, calling them cowards for hiding behind walls. How about you? What shall you do? I shall head towards Valencia. Once we reach Valencia, the route to Yulia is likely the least guarded, so we'll liberate that area first. We can use then use Yulia as a base to continue through Valencia. Valencia, again, I'm sorry if I'm saying things wrong. I'm also rather familiar with the area, as I was born in Yulia. That sounds good. We'll come quickly once you take Yulia. The fastest route is through Sark and the Focal Mountains. I suggest you head that way. Yes, we'll do that. The Knight General and his army are heading east to here, from Magnus. I think they plan on fighting in Blaine, but I'm not sure. Regardless, I'll ensure that the situation here in Athea is stable. That way, when we come to help you in Valencia, we can always fall back to Athea. So much name dropping. I am a little worried that the Knight General may come here instead as he will have to cross through either Athea or the Focal Mountain if he wishes to reach Blade, but I won't let him stop me. Alright, that makes sense. Magnus, Athea, Blaine, and Valencia all border the Focal Mountain, although it is considered to be Blaine's territory. We can move around the mountains, or perhaps find a shorter way through them, considering our forces are rather small. But Magnus will definitely have to go around for it to reach Blaine. 
I don't know the Knight General enough to predict his strategy, but we had best hope none of us encounter him. I honestly have no idea how Blaine is faring in the war, but for all of Magnus's Imperial Generals to be busy, the two must still be fighting the core of this war, which is good for us. We'll be able to liberate Sark and cross the border quickly. Best of luck, Chief Hawes. May we continue to slowly turn this war in our favor. Indeed. And we must do so without attracting the attention of Magnus's higher ranks. But before I leave, I will be sending one of my men to accompany you. Storm, reveal yourself. Yes, Chief? I want you to leave with Siegfried and aid in the arrival to Yulia. Do whatever is needed for you, Storm, and take care of yourself. Of course, Chief. So now I got an archer? That's pretty cool. Storm's bow will prove useful... Prove? Prove useful on your journey, Siegfried. He's one of my finest warriors and has excellent potential. He may seem relaxed now, but his battle instincts are exceptional. Good luck, Siegfried. Oh, this is... interesting? General, I bring news. You look really doofy with that helmet. The Gorn tribe attacked the rebels, but they were quickly routed. Last we heard, the Kashaya and Taos tribes have engaged the rebel soldiers in battle. Where is Sid's man? He claims that a battalion of horsemen and shaman were deployed a few days ago and should be pursuing the rebels. We cannot stop their march. Sir, we have time, I think. Our forces are numerous, and theirs are few. Deploy some more soldiers in Athea, and perhaps... We cannot afford the time and resources. Siegfried has advanced too far and too quickly. What shall we do, General? Send Count Pelinor up. I must discuss with him. Yes, sire. Siegfried. Oh, hey there. General Howard, what can I do for you? As you know, His Majesty has arranged a meeting in Aegis, yes? For the Emperor to travel to Valencia, it is an important meeting. Yes, I remember. You said that Magnus's top generals are to attend, yes? Count Pelinor, I will be leaving for Aegis immediately. All operations are now in your hands. Of course, General. How long shall you be? I have dreamt of many a plan to attend the Rebel... crisis. Aegis is far away, but I estimate it will take the Rebels about a month to arrive. Rest assured, we should be back by then, if not sooner. I see then. May we all stay well and prevail. Okay, I know I like to go through the dialogue before ending the episode, but I actually have somewhere to be in real life. Chapter 5X and Eternal Hunt. So I'm going to end it once the dialogue starts, because, yeah, I just... I didn't manage my time as well as I thought I was, so... Yeah, I'm going to end it right here. We'll read the dialogue and start Chapter 5X next time, so... Anyway... Oh, I guess my commentary... Some of that dialogue was kind of stiff, but again, this is an old ROM hack, and Fire Emblem kind of has that issue a lot of times anyway, because they gotta, like... kind of do... What's the word? I can't remember what the word is, but... I mean, they gotta, like, force out the plot and more about the geography and whatnot, even though it's not really, like, a normal conversation piece way to talk. But that's kind of a thing in, like, most games, I would say. So, anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you enjoyed the episode, so consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the Small Crit Club, and I will see you all next time. Bye!